All right. Welcome back to the Saints Colleague Rocket League Invitational here at St. Clair College. Just coming off a crazy series, Game 5 overtime thriller, Durham College taking down Davenport University. Durham will remain on the main stage, and well, their opponent, Northwood, the number one ranked team in the nation, going up against a red-hot Durham team, and well, this is going to be the battle for the number one seed coming out of Pool B, going into bracket play, and what a series this is about to be. Northwood, obviously, very renowned in the scene already, very established team, and each individual player established established in their own right. Durham College, on the other hand, coming in as the underdogs, but after a win like that, momentum can ride a long, long way. And well, we'll get you all set for the match, and we're going to throw it back to the caster desk with Matthias and Teo. Welcome back, everybody. As you heard, my name's Theo. <laughs> I'm joined by Matthias for Hello. this game today, and we have a very good game on our hands. We have Northwood taking on Durham. Durham just was just on stream, had a five-game banger against Diamond Porth. We're able to clutch that one out. They did make a few mistakes here and there, but overall, played a brilliant series. And Northwood, we haven't had on the stream yet, but we already know that they're a very, very strong team. This should be an absolute banger. Definitely. I was watching all these games in the back here, and... As long as Durham cleans up their mistakes, right? They had such high highs. I believe we're in for a very explosive game here. Of course, the seeds are a little bit more ranked in Northwood's favor as they are some world champions here. They won the 2022 world CRL world champions, some of these players. So they are the best of the best. But there's always upsets to be had. Durham is also very good. We saw them play just then. They had some amazing, crazy plays like just out of nowhere it would seem sometimes yeah. they just surprise you with a sink shot but we're going to be <laughs> seeing what they can do here as we get into game one yeah but we'll take a look at the rosters for the side of northwood it's going to be lion blaze is neil and hockey and for the side of durham yet again it's going to be jordan wildfire and zoceon so let's get underway a dangerous opportunity to start off the game but won't be anything there for the side of uh, it's blue is Durham by the way and orange is uh, North. Yeah, we'll just fix it with a quick <laughs> yeah, we'll swap on the barrel there. But nonetheless, we're gonna go looking back over to the game here. It's pretty even so far. No one getting an early goal really, but it looks like the pressure is on for Durham right now. But they're gonna send it right back. It's a little bit of ping pong action here, but knowing Durham, I'm sure they'll find an opening soon enough. Looks like Northwood is playing the slow and steady, slowly encroaching on to Durham's side. But another demo coming out on the side of Durham. They're just trying to take everybody down here. Yeah, but no early goals coming out this time for the side of Durham. So Northwood definitely playing that defensive game a little bit better. You can look for the attack. Here's Anil. Look for a touch, but good clearance from Wildfire as him and Zosian going to go for an attack themselves. A great defense there coming out though from Northwood as they look to start the counter-attack themselves. Lion Blaze on the attack all by them. Lonesome. Zosian will be there for the save as Anil's going to be on the backside. Very evenly matched so far, but it's a dangerous opportunity here for Northwood. Going to go on the attack here, but won't find anything. Going to look to reset, pick up those boosts Ooh. and go yet again. Durham doing a good job defensively so far though, not allowing Northwood to get any good opportunities on board and two minutes in pretty slow start to the series It's a pretty dead even start especially with how wide these rankings are Northwood being number one Durham being number 20 But it oh. doesn't look like that as it looks like Durham almost got a shot from downtown out of nowhere But a big save from Lion Blaze keeping the dream alive for Northwood right now We're seeing another demos demos and demos coming out from Durham. They're just trying to take them down slowly, but surely now so Sean really playing on the offensive here, but he might have pushed up a little bit too far as they have oh. no defense open and Northwood almost gets the goal here. Oh a big goodness. save coming out on the side of Northwood there, or on the side of Durham. That should have been a goal. Northwood definitely going to want that one back. I don't know how that one even stayed out, but Lion Blaze just couldn't find the finish there. Northwood still on the aggression, but 
Only Hockey has any boost left. He's gonna go for the solo goal, takes it around all defenders. Beautiful pass to Zanil, and that is picture perfect. Rocket League just buying so much space here. Hockey, look, takes it over one. Nice little pass off the crossbar. Doesn't go for the shot, doesn't get too greedy. Pass it off to his teammate, Zanil, and 1 0 lead for Northwood University. You could see why they're the top seeded team in the tournament. You can definitely tell that they're just number one team overall. Oh but now, God. look at that. <laughs> They're just proving that fact even further, getting a nice kickoff goal to start things off already. 2-0 after a dead even three minutes. It's looking pretty dicey for Durham, but they've pulled out some crazier things, so I have faith. Yeah, I mean, they're getting a taste of their own medicine there, getting kickoff scored on them. But looks like instantly they're going to get there that medicine is. back at Durham College. Right off kickoff against Northwood University. Jordan with a beautiful pass to himself and that little corner bounce put the ball right in his path and instantly Durham get one back. Let's see what happens on this next kickoff. It's looking pretty hopeless there, but now just one goal away from evening things up. Durham is in a decent position. They just have to play the defense here. Don't get too comfortable here with a nice demo from Jordan. That's going to open things up for him. Now Hockey's watching this defense like a hawk. He's going to swoop in, and he misses it at the last second. And Jordan gets a nice shot. You could see that one coming from a mile away. I mean, we could. Jordan saw it coming. Everyone saw it coming. I think Hockey saw it, yeah. Both of them saw it, but <laughs> it was placed right in the middle of both of them, so neither player could get to it. And just in the blink of an eye, Durham College tie this one up and swing the momentum in their favor completely. Let's see what Northwood can get done after this kickoff. No goals too early on just yet. And in the matter of a minute, we went from Northwood winning to tie game. And what's going on? We're back at even ground. Let's see if there's any opportunities. Oh, no. And somehow, <laughs> Zanil finds himself right in front of the net with no defenders inside Durham. Just over committing on the wrong side of the field. And that's a freebie for Northwood. A big mistake from Durham. And we saw a lot of that last year's against Davenport. They just kind of do some something not too good on the attack and leave their goal to open. Northwood very happily will accept their gift. Yeah, but now Durham's looking to eve this one up once again, cleaning it up, playing a little bit more defensively, but Northwood is not letting up on the gas. They are putting the pressure on to the max. Right now, trying to get a balance off the wall. Doesn't find much of an opening right now. So Sean, though, misses the hit, and now the pressure is still on Durham. He's stuck in the defense in position, and Lion Blaze is going for a setup, but doesn't quite work out. It's still just trapped in this corner. Nice save from Zoshan. It's going to be sent over to the side of Northwood, but it looks oh, like someone's there to save it at the last second. Lion Blaze just barely saves it up from an even game with one minute left on the clock. It's all in Durham's court. They need to find one more shot to bring this to game one over time. Yeah, I mean, Northwood are going to have to play good defense here. Jordan definitely the player to look out for Durham. He's able to find the first two goals, but Lion Blaze gonna look for a shot there. Wildfire, beautiful defense. Octo gonna go for a shot on target. Jordan is there with the save, and yet again, beautiful team play from Northwood, but a great defense from Durham as they're able to sustain the pressure. 30 seconds left. Durham still need to find a goal desperately, but Northwood are the ones with the aggression. They just need to not slip up and make that silly mistake and throw this one away, but they're gonna be able to get into the half of Durham College and Neil. Crucially gonna burn a lot of time with the clock here just getting up that wall and you can see Northwood are just looking to play Goalie here in the midfield trying to stop any real opportunities from coming out They're gonna put on the pressure and try and put the nail in the coffin with the fourth goal But Durham just aren't getting any offense started here and that looks like it's all she wrote the ball should be spiked down soon Zanil will spike there that one is. down <laughs> and in a very very exciting first game Northwood are gonna take the 3-2 victory It was a like you said, 3-2, that's a very close score line. There's still a lot of room here. For Northwood being ranked one, that was very, very close. Durham has some amazing techniques there. You know, they could answer those kickoff goals once Northwood got one. Very exciting game to start. And let's see how game two shakes up. Will Northwood, has Northwood oh. figured out what makes Durham tick? Or... Has Durham found the secret weapon against Northwood? The answer right here. You see a little chaotic start, but this might oh. be good for Durham as it's wide open and, and Wildfire gets the cross field shot. Instantly, Wildfire finds the clearance. A nice little uh, shot there, but 
triple commit from North were on the attack. Kind of just a silly mistake coming out from them as Durham will happily accept their gift yet again. We're kind of seeing these full court shots and goals coming out that you normally wouldn't see from all these high, high level teams. But let's see how Northwood decide to respond to this one. It's Durham taking an early lead, which they have done a couple times against Danforth in their last years. And once they get this early lead, they tend to hold on to it pretty well. As it's going to be Jordan going for and beautiful touch there to a teammate. But the save is there from Northwood. He's going to pass that one back to his teammate. The shot will be pretty easy save for Lime Blaze. They're going to control this one, Northwood, as they look to start the attack of their own. Yeah, they're going to start the attack of their own here. Right now, it looks like they're amping it up. They sent two forward here. Aki, though, here to carry it all the way back to Durham. Not going to let that happen and get the 50. But right now, it looks like Lion Blaze is going to try and continue the pressure, but it's not going to work. We're back to dead even, just being passed it back and forth here. Zanil might have found an opening here. Doesn't commit to the air carry just yet. There it is. Now he's going to go for a bit of a setup. His teammate isn't there to follow up. There's a nice defense from Durham. And right now, Northwood is just struggling to find anything to go their way right now. They're good at setting up the pressure, but they're unable to find any shots on the goal. Wildfire just watching this ball like a hawk. He knows where it's going to go, but Zoshin going to be there to meet it. Now, Jordan trying to push oh. this one up. Doesn't get the shot. It gets saved out by Lion Blaze. I mean, this is good pressure from Durham. They're really putting the pace against Northwood. They're doing a great job so far in this game. Have to be careful on those full court clearances. Make sure they have someone back at all times. That could have been a dangerous shot, but a beautiful touch there from Wildfire's Jordan. Now gonna go on the attack. He's gonna pass that one to Zoseon. That shot's just off target, but it's the follow there. It drops right in front of the net, and Wildfire is gonna have the shot on target. Beautiful save there from Ooh, Hockey, nice however. Demo. The demo is there, the shot's on target. Wilson, you'll get back in time. Yes, you will. Hockey's gonna have to find the clearance. Durham almost putting a second one in the net there, but North with some heroics to keep this a 1-0 game. Yeah, they're keeping the game nice and exciting for us. But right now, Lion Blaze trying to get a pass from his teammate, but Zanil's just getting shut out right now by Jordan. And now Zoshin going to knock that one out of the air, stop the air carry, but Zanil unable to follow up, really passes it back to his teammate. Oh my a nice goodness. setup. Look at that from Northwood back and forth. The teamwork is impeccable. Insane teamwork there. You could see it as soon as he left that ball for hockey. You already know that Lion Blaze was going to be flying in through the air there and a beautiful goal comes out from Northwood really needing that one especially after how this game's been going Durham really looking like a stronger team but Northwood getting off to that beautiful attack on the counter really found a nice goal for themselves and they're able to tie this game up let's see if maybe now Northwood can put on the aggression and they are shots right off the post and the finish won't come through for them hockey gonna put that one into the corner wildfire will be here for the clearance but now it's Northwood for the aggressors they're able to find the demo onto Jordan as well as Ocean is gonna find the clear picks up the boost and this is a pretty dangerous position as Jordan gets a shot on wow. target but it's a great save from Zanil nobody there to bump him away Ocean is gonna find a shot as well that one's on target as well beautiful save from Lion Blaze as Zoseon is really trying to find a pass towards the middle here. Wildfire not in a good position to follow that one up. Northwood yet again able to stand the pressure. There's just letting Jordan take this one but all three defenders there for the commit making sure nothing comes through. Beautiful defense from Northwood. Beautiful defense from Northwood and the triple commit from Durham is a little bit dicey because now they're going to have to race back to play the defense but they're there to meet them. Hockey trying to get us up for the team. Doesn't quite work and now it's going to go over to Northwood side but they are there. Lion Blaze is there in the air to catch it. Now he's going to send it right back down, weaving through all the attackers. That is Durham, but it looks like Zoshan finds it midair. Now we're going to see it bouncing back and forth. It's a little bit of a deadlock right now. Both teams trying to open this one up, trying to break the dead even scoreline here with only a minute or so remaining. Time is ticking. We might have an overtime on our hands, but right now Northwood is trying to say no, no, no. Oh. They're going to go for a setup and a nice save by Zoshan. Save from Zosian there, making sure that Durham are still in this game. The demo goes on from Hockey Bill. They have to get back on the other end, and they are there. Two defenders for Northwood, making sure that they're able to stay safe. And all three members from Northwood are on this left side now. Gonna look for the attack. Hockey and Lion Blaze kind of getting hit each other in the air there. We'll stop <laughs> their attack short in their tracks, but now they're gonna look for a shot on target. The save should be there from Jordan. Not too much pace on that one. 30 seconds left. Northwood looking for the game winner here. Lion Blaze gonna have that opportunity, but Wildfire finds a crucial save to 
keep Durham in this game. It's going to be probably one more attack from North, but from the look of things, 20 seconds left and counting. Lion Blaze going to look for a pass off the back of the net. Won't be able to find it. Hockey, though, gets the ball in a dangerous position, and they're just keeping it in this corner, but Durham doing a good job, making sure they don't make any mistakes. Seven seconds left. Could anything crazy happen in these final few seconds? Next time the ball touches down, we will be going to overtime, and there it is, our very first overtime on the broadcast. Yeah, our first overtime in the series here. And now, with the demo to start things off, things are looking explosive. Durham is starting off strong and very aggressive, almost getting a shot on the goal right out of the gate. But now, going to clean up here. But they're not going to let up the pressure because Northwood is playing the defense very, very well. But they haven't cleared it off their side. Walter is there to meet it. The misses the 50, but it's going to get over to Northwood's side. Now it's their turn to take a shot. And Jordan just barely misses it, but his teammate is there to save it. He's going to follow up for the catch, but doesn't quite find it. Zoshin going to continue to put up the pressure with his team, but all three of Northwood is there on the defense line. Blaze going for an attack. It looks like they're trying to seal the deal right here. Hits off the top, double hit, doesn't quite hit the mark. So it's going to go back over to the mid, but they're just toying with Durham, trying to get their defense out of the way right now. They managed to clear it off to the right side. There's someone there to meet him. It's all up to Wildfire here and the rest of the team to try and clear this off their side, but it looks like Northwood's not going to let up the pressure, but now Hockey is going to have to go back and play the defense. Yeah, I mean, Northwood definitely putting on the aggression in this early stages of the overtime, but Durham doing a great job keeping themselves composed on the defensive end, not overcommitting for anything and playing the defense perfectly. I mean, 11 gun, still Northwood on the attack. That should be a dangerous opportunity. Hockey is going to leave that one for his teammate. The shot comes through. The save is there. Lion Blaze, though, will find the follow-up. Durham just had nobody else in that net, and they're going to be able to take this game 2-1 Northwood R with a beautiful game-winning goal from Lion Blaze, and they take the series lead at 2-0. Yeah, now Durham series lives are on the line here. This is not where you want to be, especially when these games are so dang close. I feel like Durham really needs to bunker down and try and find something that's been working against Northwood. Northwood is just so dang adaptable. Everything at Durham throws at them, they manage to adapt. I believe the triple commits coming out from Northwood were their main point of contention there. Leaving the net wide open really let Durham cook up some crazy plays. But I think they start to take heed of that, change their game plan. And they've really cleaned up their act here. So now, let's see if Durham try and play around that, keep things interesting, try and put something unpredictable for Northwood to play against. Northwood showing why they are the one seed in the series to one against a very, very strong Durham side. And been playing really well, I want to say, so far. Both teams have been playing really well. You could see. As the day goes on, teams just get better and better and better. They get used to the land, they get used to the setups, used to the gameplay, and they are just playing at such a high level. Lion Blaze is going to look for a pass into the middle, won't be able to find it. Just Hockey has to find the save here. Will do so, but the shot on target comes through. Jordan has to find the fake, but Zanil is there for the save. Hockey is going to find the clearance, and that should stop the attack of Durham. Is Northwood now on the counter attack, looking for something of their own. But yet again, pretty slow start to this third game. Yeah, it's a dead even start. That's what you'd, you'd expect with how even these games have been going. Right now, Durham is putting up the pressure, but that's going to quickly flip over as Northwood makes their first play here. Zaniel's going to bounce it off the wall, try and go for a set for his team, but it's going to get cleared up by Zoshin, but Lion Blaze is going to keep up the pressure, trying to keep the shots coming. Nice demo from Lion Blaze. It's going to open up the net a little bit more, but it's not going to be quite enough as Durham is going to flip the script on them and keep up the pressure. But yeah, now Northwood on the counterattack. Gonna look for something. Jordan gonna take down to Neil. As that's gonna be the push stop pretty, pretty early. Lion Blaze though finds a nice touch to his teammate hockey, but it won't be a goal. That Ooh, was a wow, double demo. There, double demo comes out as well. As the Neil finds it over to Lion Blaze, who wasn't in the air. He was ground, and so he wasn't able to find the finish. Bit of miscommunication maybe from Northwood as that could have been a goal right there, but it was a very hard tech to pull off. So Sion going for the shot there. Hawk is able to find the save, playing a cool, calm, and collective on his goal line. Wildfire is going to find the 50 there and he's going to almost find another touch there. Lion Blaze will just hold that one up. 50 comes out from the side of Durham. Wildfire yet again. He's going to give that one over to Zanil though. Hockey on the counter attack. Has Durham overstepped here? The save comes out from Zosion. 
gonna be Jordan back on the attack. Beautiful team play from both teams as Jordan has a shot on target. The demo comes out, the ball is getting shot at the <laughs> net, but hockey is able to find the save again on this goal line. As there's a crucial miss from Jordan, Northwood now on the counter attack line plays, trying to take it over his defender, won't be able to do so. This matchup is very, very evenly matched as nobody can find the upper hand here. Nice defense from Hockey there. He's the last one on the defense here after a couple demos. Now his teammates are flooding back in. Wildfire in the air trying to keep it on the Northwood side. But Ani will do so as Anil is trying to pick up the pace for his team. There it is. Lion Blaze going for the setup, but it gets knocked out of the air. Have to turn around, wait for another one. Zanil going to try and go for another oh. setup. That's a nice shot by Hockey. Barely oh. misses and he squeezes it in anyways. Past Wildfire and what a setup. Persistence is key. As as a hockey is just unrelenting. Look at that. Bounces off him. Bounces off the top right and sinks it right in. What a goal. Beautiful one on three goal from hockey. Just able to get it past all the defenders, and that's going to be a crucial, crucial goal. Now we're going to see Durham really having to turn it up a notch. They're going to have to start making some risky plays to maybe get a goal back in the series as Northwood has been so, so, so solid defensively. Hockey on that back line has been amazing in that goal line. and even finding the goal for himself. Definitely a great performance coming out there. But Jordan now on the counter has a one-on-one -on -one against Lion Blaze with Zanil. Will find it. That clears though. It's a still dangerous opportunity. The shot comes through from Zosion and just <laughs> at that Durham College able to tie that one up. It was a nice little shot after shot and then the third person comes in. There's Zosion. Beautiful teamwork from Durham College and they're finally able to break through this lockdown defense of Northwood. Durham is amazing at answering every goal Northwood serves them up. They are there pretty much immediately finding a goal, bringing us to 1-1, even scoreline now. They just have to try and secure that 2-1 goal line because they don't want to bring this to OT once again. The pressure on OT is just so unrelenting. It's hard to make it up. And right now Northwood's trying to make up one more point as they are putting on a full assault here, but it's gonna go way over to the goal, but Lions Blaze is there to keep it up, saving it out, but Wildfire is gonna keep up pressure. One minute remaining left on the clock. It's gonna be pretty dicey here. Will we see another overtime? I'm sure Durham doesn't wanna see that. They just wanna sink this goal in once more, and if they can thread the needle right here, this is looking very, very good for them, taking it slow and steady. It wins the race, but it's not gonna win the 50s out. So Sean, Gonna try and continue the pressure here, but with no teammates on his side, they're gonna have to play the defense. Finds one mid-air. Lions play though, gonna find it once more. 30 seconds left on the clock, a demo comes out. Jordan trying to weave it through the defense. He oh. might do it with his teammate, but it just isn't on the mark right now. Gonna have to try and steal it from the hands of Northwood once again, but they're not gonna let that happen so easily. They're gonna keep trying to set things up for one last goal to seal the deal. They don't want an OT, they want to win in an overwhelming fashion here with only 10 seconds. I can't see it going any other way unless Durham can find something right here. Five seconds left on the clock. They don't want to let this up but with it in Northwood's hands. They wanted to go to OT. There it is. Our second overtime of the series and potentially our last as Northwood just needs one more goal. Yeah, I mean, Northwood gonna get off to a hot start. They're almost getting the early goal off that kickoff, but Durham able to defend it. And now it's gonna be Durham on the attack here. But nice little clearance there from is a Neil. Jordan's gonna have to control that one. Keep it, keep it. There, Zanil is going to go for an attack. Zosian is going to find a touch there. Now Lion Blade is going to look for a shot on target, but it's an easy save from Jordan's Durham. are playing good defense here, but a huge demo from Zanil. Zosian there could have been all she wrote. Let's see how both teams decide to play this one. Northwood definitely the more aggressive team. That could have been a dangerous opportunity for them there. Durham definitely on the defensive end to start off this overtime, but we both know from what we've seen, this match could flip in an instant. Exactly, only a minute in, and it takes so long for these goals to develop. You don't want oh. to see it's too early, but there's Zosha, and he wants to see it early. He's going for the early save, but the pressure is on. Northwood is trying to seal the deal here. Right now, Lions Blaze, just like a lion stalking its prey, is looking oh, at this ball, sees the opening, and goes oh. for it, and oh. takes the hunt, and takes down the gazelle, and takes the whole series. Northwood. Proving their dominance, takes a series 3-0, and look at that team. We're precision and relentlessness from Northwood. It couldn't have gone any other way, but Durham 
really gave them a run for their money. I mean, that's about as cl- even though it was a 3-0, that's about as close of a series as you can get two overtimes and a one-goal game. I mean, great performance from both sides, but North were really showing why they are the top-ranked team. They, in the clutch, when it matters most, were able to show up, able to take that one. And going to be 3-0 in the group stages. Yeah, like you said, there was only like a one-point difference every single match. Durham almost able to meet them at every single occasion. And also, one thing I want to point out is both teams have a TSM player on them. So you know these are the best of the best, very high-skilled teams. And what a match to watch. I'm just excited. This is just the pool. This is just the round robins here to get the placements decided. I'm just amazed at how the quality of the games we already have. But I'm not surprised. This invitational is stacked across the board. I mean, all the teams are amazing. We All the games on stream have been absolute bangers. But, uh, you know, this is going to be the last game of the group stages. As you said, uh, Northwood, I believe... Are three and zero oh. perfect, wow. perfect uh, group stage for them. Durham are going to be two and one after that one, and I believe Downport and Conestoga were both zero and two before their match. That they I think, are, are st- still currently playing because that was a three zero oh between Northwood and Durham. Any other closer series? Well, <laughs> uh, not closer, but like longer in time. Mm-hmm. They're still playing. I think Downport Conestoga. So they're both zero and two. Gonna be playing for that third seed in Group A, and in Group B, I believe Saint Clair. Uh, 2-0. Oakland was also 2-0. They were able to beat Akron wow. in their last matchup, but Akron was able to beat LGVSU in their final oh. matchup. So they finished 1-2. and two. I think uh, St. Clair and Oakland are still battling it out there to see who's going to really get that top seed. So pretty interesting group stage. It's probably not what we expected. Definitely expected Akron to have a bit of a better record through yeah. the group stages, not 1-2, and two, but... Uh, th- Everybody makes it to the playoffs. Everyone has a chance to really show out when it matters most. And that's what's going to be coming up pretty, pretty soon. Yeah, just from what I've seen so far, we can do a little review of just the yeah. ones we've casted on these group stations. The ones you've casted. I've <laughs> casted this one, which is an amazing one. I'm glad I got to see a Northwood one. But just do a little review. That Every game has been pretty close so far. Yeah. I mean, the first series, St. Clair Saints against Akron, it was a 3-1 victory for the side of the Saints. Mm -hmm. Uh, But it was a little bit of a reverse sweep situation. Yeah. Akron won the first. Yeah, a little bit. Then second game, downport Durham, all five games. But in the end, Durham was able to come out. And just now we saw Northwood go up against Durham 3-0. We have some replays. Let's see what we have underway. First game. Pretty dominant starts for Northwood University. Took an early 2-0 lead, but in the blink of an eye, Durham were able to come back, make it a 2-2 game, and really spice things up. Yeah, they are just the teamwork from both teams. They have so much control, so much persistence here, and Durham is just the king of threading the needle here. Yeah. I just they, There's so much defense from both teams, but just watching it just barely slide in past so many players is always a joy to watch. And Northwood just manages to maybe lure in Durham to an overcommit like here and sinks it in when the goal is completely empty somehow. You're like, why is the goal empty against Northwood? But it just seems to be how it shakes up sometimes. Yeah, and but in the second game, Durham got off to a hot start. 12 seconds to the game, took the 1-0 lead, but just could not held on uh, Northwood. We're just so persistent with their attack hockey with a beautiful pass play with Zaniel. Nice little one two tiki taka and a beautiful <laughs> pass to Lion Blaze to finish that one off. That's the goal that sent that game to overtime, and Northwood was able to close that one out. And this game as well went to overtime. It was a 1 1 as well during the regular time. Hockey just 1v3 takes it into the whole defense, is, is able to take that one. But Durham almost instantly responded here. Jordan working well to get a crucial touch there as the pass into pass into pass led to (laughs) Ocean's goal. We saw maybe Durham can bring it back, but then Northwood ended all their hopes with this overtime winner, and they were able to take the series 3-0. Congratulations to them as they go perfect in this bracket. And that's why Northwood is the number one seeded team. You know, they're just so consistent and so persistent. They get those goals. They win the 3-0s. Even if it's close, they still ultimately win won the series and overall i'm excited to see how they perform going in uh to the playoffs here because it's just gonna get even crazier yeah and with all that being said we have a show match coming up as well 
relatively soon. But before that, we have a quick interview with Zaren. Let's throw it over to him. Well, is anybody really surprised? Northwood with a dominant victory here to win their group and move on as the number one seed heading into bracket play. I'm joined now by hockey. I got to ask, like, you guys, of course, number one team in the country. What What is the secret ingredient for Northwood? What makes you guys tick so well together? Uh, I don't know if there's a secret ingredient, but we just, like, always mesh well together. We play as a team. We're always grinding. So just the, the, key, the key to success. And so you guys come into this tournament as the favorite. Um, is there any extra pressure that you guys feel um, at an event like this or even in general when you're playing some of the top teams? Yeah, I mean, there's always that pressure, like, being the number one team. Like, you're always, like, expected to win. But I think, like, we all definitely deal with it well, and we, like, we know that pressure is going to be there, and we, like, are ready for it every tournament. Now, is there anybody in the tournament that you're really wanting to play that, I mean, obviously Durham had that win over you guys uh, last summer. Um, was, was that something you were looking forward to, or is there any other team that you're looking forward to play? Yeah, I think we were definitely looking forward to Durham because they beat us in the summer series, but... Going forward, we want to play Akron, I think, Oakland, St. Clair. Hopefully, if we if the bracket works out, we're going to play those three teams. Well, um, is there anything you want to say to anybody at home, uh, anybody a part of the Northwood program before we kind of wrap up here? Yeah, um, shout out to my family, um, everyone at Northwood that runs the program, Jacob, Aiden, Cody, and yeah. All right, man. Well, appreciate it. Um, GG's. And uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing you later on in the bracket. Well, that'll do it for now. And, well, we will be having a show match coming up on stream in just a little bit. Uh, for this series, it'll be Northwood taking down Durham College in a 3-0 fashion. We'll see you guys in a few minutes.